few draft analysts gave Arkansas guard Mason Jones any love when it comes to the 2020 NBA draft. Although, he's moved up in the last few weeks from the absolute bottom of this NBA draft class to being maybe a second round pick as he is still widely overlooked by the big boys at ESPN, Draft Express, Sports Illustrated, and The Athletic. Take Sam Vicini, the go-to man for all things basketball for The Athletic. Vicini has Jones projected as the number 76 player in this year's draft, which is kind of problematic when only 60 players will be selected. Sure, Jones was a devastating scorer during his two-year stretch at Arkansas, becoming the first Razorback to lead the SEC in scoring, but that distracts from a bigger issue. Mason Jones was abysmal defensively this year. I don't think there's a defense for his defense the way he played it. When he's on defense, he was way too inattentive. So many times it looked like he was just kind of walking around on the defensive side of the court. I didn't think he was particularly good as an on-ball defender. He's not an elite level lateral mover. He's definitely a thicker guy who gets into the paint, bullies other guys and draws fouls that way to get a lot of production in scoring. Mason Jones should have not won the co-SEC player of the year honors this past season, but at the end of the day, production speaks for itself. And I'm comfortable saying he should have been on the all SEC team, but I think there were some better guys in the SEC this year that should have been given the award for SEC player of the year. Jones, for his part, knows that few people are going to give him a chance of getting drafted, but he relishes that challenge, just like he relished the challenge of losing more than 70 pounds on his way to becoming a dominant collegiate force. In an interview with Hoops Hype, he told them, they're downgrading me because of athleticism, but I still feel like I'm a top 15 player in the draft. I still feel like I was one of the top five best players in college basketball. Jones doesn't see himself as a weak defender. Rather, he views himself as a work in progress. He told Hoop Hype, I think becoming an elite defender, I want to be an elite defender while also being an elite scorer. I see myself like Jimmy Butler. We both have the same traits. We are competitive. So far, Jones has studied the likes of Manu Ginobili, James Harden, and Luka Doncic on his way to becoming the co-SEC player of the year. Can he continue to draw from those superstars and improve in the pros as much as he did from his sophomore to junior years at Arkansas? Jones thinks he will, as he told Hoops Hype at the end of their interview, I want to be an all-star. I have a lot to prove and I feel like I've worked hard and the way I carry myself and the way I care about the game, I definitely feel like I can achieve being an all-star or being an MVP in the league. With averages of 22 points per game, 5.4 rebounds per game, 1.6 steals per game, 35% from three, Mason Jones production speaks for itself. I think he will be a second round pick and a name to follow, kind of like this past year's undrafted free agent phenom Kendrick Nunn of the Miami Heat. So let me know down below what you think of what's his face, Mason Jones. And yeah, if you heard like a little jingle, that's my dog. And I'm like too lazy to take this again. So let me hear everything. Like, subscribe. I really don't care. Just watch to the end because watch time's the only thing that matters. Bye.